All right, folks, and welcome to Procreate. Now, one of the coolest things in 4.3 was the ability to export as an animated GIF. Now, if you go to your wrench icon, you'll see that you're now able to share. You see that I've got the blue circle for share highlighted, and you'll see down below the individual layers, and one of those is an animated GIF. So in these lessons, we're going to show you how to do this. So the first thing I've got here, I've just got a standard workspace in 1920 by 1080 or screen size, whatever it is. Now, there's a limitation on the GIF. It only has 256 colors, so when you animate, you don't want to go crazy with the colors or the Gaussian blurs or any of those smooth transitions because it won't show up well. That being said, let's animate. I'm going to start with my layer. I'm going to rename, and I'm going to call it Background. Now, we're going to be making a very simple bouncing ball. Hey, background is spelled with an N, all right. And I'm going to want something, maybe an off-steely type of blue for my background. So I just grab the circle, and I drag it onto my space. And now I need a foreground. So I add a new layer. Rename, foreground. Oh, now i got double ends. All right, I can't spell this morning. So now I come up with my selection tool. I'm on my foreground layer, and I grab my rectangle. Now I create my layer here. And now I'm going to want to make this somewhat gray. So I'm going to grab a mid-tone gray. I'm going to put this in there. All right, now you see that we've got this in the wrong spot. That's okay. We'll just move it down. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Now you see how I use selection and transformation? Now I want to create my ball. Now the easiest way, as you learn from your bowling ball assignment, and by the way, you could absolutely put your bowling ball in here, to create a round circle, make sure the hard brush is here. Let's grab the hard brush, and I want to make this red. I want a red ball. Now you can adjust the size over here, and you just tap it once with the hard brush. That's a nice size ball. It's big enough so that we can bounce it, but it's not so large that we don't have a lot of good animation around it. So something around there in the upper left-hand corner. Oh, wait a minute. Got to add new layer. This is crucial. Sorry, folks. Rename ball. Make certain that ball is on its own layer. And then tap it into existence. All right, now let's make a shadow. Add a new layer, rename, call it shadow. All right, now remember the GIF only has so many colors, so we can't really get crazy with the blacks. All right, that's good, but now that looks like garbage, right? Let's use transform and squash it down and make it a little larger. And now make sure you position this directly under the ball. All right, now that ball looks pretty flat. Before we wrap this lesson up, let's add a little bit of highlight. Now you can't go crazy with it, but what you can do, we can grab a tool like our, well, let's go ahead and use the hard brush actually, but we'll go ahead and turn this down quite a bit. And I'm gonna choose a red, and I'm gonna choose something a little bit grayer. And we're going to do some simple cell shading. Okay. I don't like that. I'm going to go ahead and shrink that down a little. Okay. And then we drag that inside of there. Oops. Now we'll just color it in by hand if that's what we're going to do. Go ahead and crank that up just a little. And you see I'm just drawing this on. Okay, now let's go ahead and throw a little bit of white in there too. Okay, close enough for horseshoes and hand grenades, folks. So now, let's go ahead now, there's the ball layer. Separate from the shadow layer, separate from the foreground, separate from the background. Now watch this. With one layer selected, 
Grab the next layer up, right swipe, right swipe, right swipe. You see how they all went blue? And group. Now let's rename this group. You rename it to just like you would any other layer. So you rename master group. Okay. So that's going to be the file. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this file in your downloads so that you can follow along step by step. So if you're totally lost, that's okay. Download this file, bring it to Procreate, and then we'll see you in the next lesson when I show you how to set up your animation.